Tuli Fooly. It's a great selection from the book of Proverbs. We have a guest proverber on this show. Great Moments in the History of Journalism by Carl Krauss. How is the world ruled and led to war? Diplomats lie to journalists and believe these lies when they see them in print. Sound familiar? Bush Miller and the New York Times, Iraqi War and President Bush. What a diplomat. Uh, now at the bottom here we see from the memoirs of Prince von Bulo, you can see it's the, the uh, First World War, cavalry. At last I said to him, this is Bethmann Hovig, German Chancellor in 1914, well, tell me at least how it all happened. He raised his long thin arms to heaven and answered, in a dull, exhausted voice. Oh, if I only knew. Now, World War I was an imperialist war. You remember World War I, imperialism. Who was going to control the wealth of Africa, Asia, and Europe? World War II World War II was a continuation of World War I. Who was going to control the wealth of Europe, Asia, and Africa? Well, of course, there were differences, too. Uh, they were much more efficient in World War II. They could kill faster and more efficiently. Now, Karl Krauss, who was the man? Who was the man? He was, he lived from 1874 to 1936. He was an Austrian journalist, critic, and poet, who as a satirist has been compared with Juvenal and Jonathan Swift, born on April 28th, 1874, at Gitchen. He attended the University of Vienna and attracted notice by two brochures, the Demolierte De, 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 De Literatur, the demolished literature, and Eine Krone for Zion, a crown for Zion, an anti-Zionist tract. He was Jewish, by the way. And uh, Theodor Herzl, was introducing Zionism in the, in the same city in Vienna at this time. Uh, he later, uh, Krauss later converted to uh, Christianity. I don't know why he bothered. The two religions are the two closest major religions uh, in the world. And uh, what was Jesus? Wasn't Jesus a Jew too? Oh yeah, he was, but he belonged to the wrong synagogue, I guess. In 1898, nine, I'm sorry, Krauss founded the periodical De Fackel, The Torch, at first largely and later entirely written by him. It achieved fame as the mouthpiece of a scathing critic of Austrian society. His publication ceased only with the rise of Nazism National Socialism in Austria in 1936. He was lucky. He died just before Hitler became uh, the raving maniac. He, he was. Krauss's satire was constantly directed against the Austrian middle classes and the liberal press. But later, he paid his attention to topical political issues and turned to the deeper problems of preserving the best in the Austrian cultural tradition. He saw that the age had lost its bearings and in language that rises to prophetic and even apocalyptic heights, he foretold the coming 
European catastrophe. His position in German literature is unique. His satire is best seen in his collected essays, Sittlichkeit und Kriminalität, Morality and Criminality, uh, Literature and Lies, and another work, the, the Sprache, the Language, 1937. And in his brilliant anti-war drama, the very famous, the Letzten Tage der Menschheit, The Last Days of Mankind. Uh, Krauss has come to be recognized both as a master of language and aphorism, and as a visionary who waged a relentless, though hopeless, battle against the disintegration of Austrian and European and American uh, and Austrian and European society. His other words include Spriche und Widerspriche, a, uh, aphorism, well, proverbs and uh, perverbs, we'll translate that as, pro domo et mundo, for home and world, nachts, night, 1918, and the drama, Volken which I'm translating as, Cloud Cuckoo Land. He died in Vienna on June 12, 1936, and of course missed the uh, Widerspruch of uh, Adolf Hitler and his friends. How is the world ruled and led to war? Diplomats lie to journalists and believe these lies when they see them in print. <laughs> 